Hi, welcome to another dialogue tutorial. Hope you're doing well. Hope you're doing great today. So, with all the energy in the world, we're going to be looking at how do we embed videos and audios in a dialogue. Yeah, this is the 21st century and it's 2002. Video forms the bedrock of the entire internet. I mean, think of it if you're not watching video, you're going to be watching, listening to audio, and you read less of text message these days. So, it's a good thing for your application to have videos and for your application to have audios and you know the likes. So, uh, if you've if you if you've uh, if you've not subscribed to this channel, go ahead and subscribe. It's good for the YouTube algorithm. Hit the like button. Hit the subscribe button, and definitely, it's gonna be a good thing for other persons to be able to watch this video. So, I'll go to my database, and you can see I have um, three collections: users, schools, and city. So, if I click on the school, you can see I have name, location, rate, photo, city, and so I want to add a new property and call it video. So this is just going to be a test. Just call it video. I'm going to put it. I just call it a test. That's it. That's what I'm going to call it. Video. Video link. That's what I'll call it. So just call it video link. That's all. Now what I'm going to do. Remember we want to embed. So you can embed using tools like YouTube. Uh, for video you can use YouTube. You can use Vimeo. You can use lot. You can self host it somewhere in Amazon Cloud. Anywhere you want to host it. It's a video. It's a video. Just embed, embed it. So what I'll do, I'll go to YouTube <clears throat> because I need to copy the embed link to be able to embed this on YouTube. So I'll go to YouTube and copy that link, and I'll just sign in. So I could copy, um, so I could copy my link. I'll just sign in. Um, yeah, we have 319 subscribers now. That's so cool. Thank you guys. Thank you so much. So uh, we'll just go ahead and. I'm just going to go to my channel. I'm going to be a bit selfish now. I'll go to my channel and I'll click on this one. I want to embed this video. So I just pause. I'll click on. I'll click on. Um, I'll click on the setting and I just want to embed it. So I could copy this one right here if I want to. But I, but I want to embed it. That's what I want to do. Share. Yeah, I'll click on share. Yeah. Then I'll click on embed. Then I want to just take this video, this source right here, this one. That's what I want to take. This one that's after the source. Just click on a Ctrl C. When you're done with that, click on the Ctrl C. That's what I want to do. I just want to embed that one. Let's see if we copied it successfully. Yeah, we did. So I'll go to my I'll go to my my dialog app. Just edit the school so I could put. So I could add uh, it, add uh, uh, the the link I've copied to this video link. So I just paste it right like, right there like so. Save. Uh, let's just copy another one again for the benefit of doubt. Let's just copy another one all over again. Uh, I'm gonna go to to the video again and just copy another one. Click on the share, and then I would say. No, not not WhatsApp. Forgive me. Click on the share, say embed, and just copy this right here and hit the country, hit the country C button. That's it. Then I'll go back to my Adalo, uh, go back to my records, and I, what I want to do, I just want to paste it. That's what I want to do. Just click on it and just paste it. Wow. Okay. Let's click on the last one. So I just want to paste this one. Paste it right here. Let's see if the other one has. Okay, it doesn't. So I'm just going to go right there and paste it. Uh, so we, let's see if everything. So you see uh, all the all the, the schools now in our database, they all have a video link. That's, a, that's what you want to do. So after doing that, let's just create a new screen to say, hey, when users click on this, they go to another screen. So we just go ahead and click on action. Just add an action and say link to search screen. This screen right here, that's all. That's all you have to do. Just link to this other screen. And so what happened, uh, you can you can tell that Adela will transfer the data to this other screen because if you look at it, if you click on this, click on this screen and you can see the data available. So you can just click on it and see available data. So you can see the current school, the, the data for the current school is available. So just go ahead and click and do something. 
So we'll say web view. That's what we'll do. Don't say video. It's not going to play. Say web view. Click on it and put it right there like so. Then you can reduce it if you want to. Reduce it. This, we're just going to assume that this is a video about the school. You can style it the way you want to style it. doesn't matter. You can style it. You can... Um, you can edit style, you can remove opacity, put opacity if you want to. So it doesn't doesn't matter a whole lot what you decide to do with this uh, um, with this screen. So the URL, click on it. The URL is going to be current school video, video link. That's going to be the URL. So then you can then come back and put all the other details like the school name, you know, Stuff like that, you could put all of that details right here, like so. Uh, a good way to style this would be to add a sample, add a add a rectangle. That would be a good way to style this. Add a rectangle. Where you're gonna, where you're going to put details, like details like the school name, uh, you know, stuff like that. That just to make it super, super exciting and super cool. And for the for the rec for the rectangle, you can actually you know just you can actually just do it like so. Remove the take away the uh, opacity, you know, make it white, uh, make it white. Put a border around it. Just put some sort of a dark border around it. Put a border around it, and yeah, put a border around it. And um, for background, we we'll just say the background is no. No background, put a border around it too. I'll just put a black border around it and um I'll put a black border around it, just make it two like so. So I I put a border I put a border around it, put it like so right there. So that's that's what I'll just do. Put a border around it and just put the test details of the school in here. But what we are interested in doing, we're interested in the video. That's what we're interested in. So if we if we go ahead and just preview this, if we go ahead and preview this, and um, we go ahead and preview this particular one, I'll just enter the enter the password and username. Password and username. Um, I'll click on the school. Click on the school, so we could see. You can see that it's just gonna play flawlessly, Hi. like so. Welcome. It's just gonna play flawlessly, like so, and you'll be able to hear everything that um, that's currently playing. So, what what's here is that how do you use this type of application? You can. This could be a learning management application just like that it could be a learning management application and all you have to do is to call the video url from somewhere else that's it this could be a, a learning management application it could be a training application it could be a customer onboarding application it could be virtually almost anything you think of so this is how you will play video from youtube in adalo so let's go try the audio yeah let's go try the audio so this time we're just gonna go back to the database and add something, add a new row. Just gonna add a new property and just call it audio. Add a new property, add a test property, and call it audio link. So this could work if you are creating a stream, a small streaming application, or maybe you're creating a, maybe you're creating a your own podcast application. That's what you're doing. You're creating your own post podcast application that is not so robust. But if it's robust, you can keep on copying. Uh, we're going to copy our stuff from SunCloud. You can keep on copying every time. It's going to become so redundant and really boring because you want people to be able to you want they you want to be able to call this information from SunCloud and um, you know and just play it that that way. So you can not keep on copying all the time. So I'm gonna accept all cookies and search. Um, I'm gonna search anything that has the name Jesus. That's what I'm gonna search for. Uh, not baby Jesus. Mm. Okay, I, I I don't know. 
but I'm just gonna search for okay. I'm just gonna search for this one. I'm gonna take this one, and um, this track is now available in Nigeria. So let me search for a Nigerian track because I'm right here in Nigeria. So I'm gonna search for some guy called Bonner Boy. Uh, I'm just gonna search for some guy called Bonner Boy, and then this is his song. This song is on the low, so it's a very popular song. And what you wanna do is to click on the link share. Click on the link share and say embed. This is what you're looking for. And for the embed, you're not looking for the entire link. You're just looking for this part. So I'm gonna show you what you're looking for. You're not looking for the entire for the entire link. So if we copy everything, control C everything, and put it in a note part. So I'm gonna look for a note part. I put it in the note part right there, like so. Put it in a note part. And you would see this is a whole lot. This is a whole lot of information. So what you want to copy is this source. This one. You want to copy this source till it gets right there. This is what you want to copy. This source. This one. Not the entire, not the entire um, uh, uh, everything. Or you could go ahead and copy this one. This is the user, blah, blah, blah. But copy this one. Source, SoundCloud, track, this one. Let's copy it and see what happened. Copy that one. We'll go back to our application, a dialogue application. If it doesn't work, do not blame me if it doesn't work. We're going to do it all over again if it doesn't work, okay? So let's go ahead and update our application. Go ahead, click on the, on the plus sign. We just update the first one for the sake uh, update the first one, say save. So I'll play the second one again. We'll leave the third one for the sake of time. We'll leave the third one for the sake of time. And then in our application, instead of this video, we'll take away the video and just click the plus sign and say current schools audio. That's what we say. So let's go ahead and preview and see if it worked. If it doesn't work, that means we've, co we've copied, copied the wrong URL. But if it does, that means uh, we are good. I mean, we did something wonderful today. So I'm just going to go back, enter my username and my password. Click on the login. And click on the school. Let's see what happens. Yippee! Let's see. Let's see if that plays. I'm pretty sure it's playing right now. So it's playing. You see, that's the way you will do it. That's the way you embed a SoundCloud link on your PC. But the thing is that you could do it like this, and you can see it still has all the branding of SoundCloud. It has all the branding of SoundCloud and everything in between. So if I were you. This is the way I'd ask you to do it. Adalo has an audio player. It has an audio player right there. So what I would have done if I was in your situation and I'm trying to embed stuff. Adalo has an audio player. So I'm just going to create a new screen. Create a new screen and just, you know, put make it blank. I'll just call it player. i just call the screen player right there. Create a new screen. And just put it right here. So if you're making an application that requires users to to, to to you know to play lots of songs, this is how you do it. Because this particular this particular uh, uh, player has a whole lot. So you could do like the URL. It's the um, schools URL. Is the school uh, is the school um, how do I put it now? The URL is from the school. That's where you're gonna put it. You, you, you would have to say the URL of the song, you have to say the song title, the artist name. So if you're creating something really, 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 you want to create something really great, that's the way you you create it. So, so what we're going to do is that this is not part of this tutorial today. I'm just going to delete this search and just say when this is clicked, we want it to go to, when it's clicked, we want it to go to the other screen. So I want it to go to this player screen. Um, player screen, yeah. So when it's clicked, let's see. So if we click on this right now, we can then see the URL of the song would be current school audio, yeah. Current school audio, and that's gonna be the URL of the song. So um, it, it's just way better for you to do stuff like this. It's way better for you to do stuff like this. But let's see if embed is gonna work. 
Normally you would upload the audio, that's the way it's going to work, it'd be good. I haven't tried it with embed before. Let's see if it's going to work if you embed it. If it doesn't, that means you'd have to call the songs from somewhere else or upload the mp3 to your download database. That's the way you do it. So let's see if it's going to work. Click on it. Let's see what's going to happen. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. It's not going to work. See? But that about I'm going to show you another tutorial all over again on how to play audios on uh on Adalo. I'm going to show you something like that how to play audios in Adalo, but that's the way you do embed all the videos and audios in Adalo. Enjoyed it, right? So that's it. Don't forget to subscribe and check out my other video. And uh, you know, leave a subscribe. Uh, you know, just subscribe. It's good for that uh, YouTube algorithm. And definitely, I'll send there. There will, there will be more tutorials coming your way over and over again. Thank you so much for watching. Do have a beautiful, beautiful work week ahead.